if you don't love this night of uh, playoff action, man, we had three great games, and yeah. this is one of them. Uh, Ernie, DeMar DeRozan and the Bulls in Milwaukee. Yes, Chuck. That's why you can never screw around and give away playoff games because the other team got so – DeMar was great today. You think they gave this away or no, this no, game I was think taken? They, I think they were taking the game for granted. This and game was taken. The Bulls. Yeah, and I know, and I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. They DeMar took Bobby it. Bobby Portis took an elbow right in the eye from Tristan Thompson. That's why we play basketball and not boxers. He would leave and would try to come back, but to no avail, he was done for the night. Javante Green from yes, son. my son. Alex Caruso had a great game. Giannis. Ooh. Stop that. Huh? You can't. No, you can't. No. You're right. Vucevic no. ain't got no chance against that boy. Passes Kareem most points scored in Bucks playoff. What? That's a great. That, that is incredible. Oh, that is, Kareem, that on is saying there. something. Kareem on the play there for one year. That's why. No, Kareem played more than I know. I'm saying he played most of his career with the Lakers. Zach Levine pulling up there and then. Mid range. Oh man, look at Mid range. Get off me, little fella. Man, this is a guy. Young kids at home. It's all right to shoot twos. 63 40. And by the way, young kids at home, unless you're on the West Coast, time to go to bed. Oh, feet work. Oh, feet man, work that, for real. That was, That's what I was saying earlier at the thing. I was like, they have an advantage inside and with Vucevic. He scores inside, and you got the Rosen and and, and well, Zach the, only, the only problem when you play him a lot, he, Giannis has a huge advantage. Oh, give me Ooh. that! <laughs> yeah. What kind of party is it? It's a block it's party. Oh, and everybody's, everybody's invited. invited. Ooh. Chris Middleton got it going a little bit in the second half. He only had three in the first half, at 13 in the third quarter. Milwaukee getting right back in this thing. Vooch for three. Mm. Yep. And Man. Rosen just he, all night long. He get to his spot and he rise up. Part of an 11 nothing run. Oh. When Middleton goes down. Tell you what, man. <laughs> this game went down to the wire, obviously, but the, the, the Bulls did everything they could to get these guys a chance. Some left knee soreness for Middleton. He did not come back. Er Levine Ernie, for three. Ernie Caruso made probably two of the biggest plays of the game in those two offensive rebounds. And, and, the, and the charge. And the charge. But the charge was after those two offensive rebounds were the difference in the game. He had nine pass. points and he had ten assists. There's one of them into the corner. Ball gets tapped out on the offensive rebound. Oh, oh and one. one. And one. That was the game winner right there, brother. That salted it away for the Chicago Bulls. That boy, that man's going to sleep good tonight. Who go into Milwaukee and take it 114 to 110. DeRozan going for 41 in his mm. 60th career playoff game. Vucevic 24, Levine 20. Remember, we talked about the fact that DeRozan and Levine had both been held under 20. It only happened four times during the regular season. It happened in game one. But tonight, 41 and 20. 20 for Levine and Chicago has even the series at a game apiece. How did they do it, Shaq? Listen, they just put their mind to it. You know, the two stars for the Bulls realized they had a bad game, no excuses, and they just said, hey, I'm going to get some shots up the night before, and we're going to come in and we're going to take it to them, and they did that. And again, Milwaukee threw some punches back, but Chicago held a lot of poise. And I think the speech that Billy Donovan gave them, I think was a very inspiring speech. We need to learn how to play with the big boys. These are the champs. We didn't play well game one, but if we play well tonight, if you give me 41, Vooch, you give me 24, and Levine, you give me 20, we'll have a chance. And they play well, and they won. Well, this to me was just about one guy willing his team to win. He's like, we're not going to lose tonight. I mean, he was amazing. I mean, every big play, and you, you got you got Booch helped a little bit, Caruso made some plays, but this is about one man saying, we're going to win this game tonight. And that's why I tell people, on every NBA team, you saw Brandon Ingram last night. You know, they're at every team, they might not have a bunch of stars, but there's one guy who says, we're going to win tonight. Last night it was Brandon Ingram. Tonight it was my man, DeMar DeRozan. He was amazing. Well, I think... You could you could have the attitude, you could have the thing, but you got there's got to be an execution to it. And uh, he got to the mid range shot. Um, they didn't double him in the areas of the floor. I thought that they did in the first in, in game one, because the it's it's always interesting. You you said I think the other night game one adjustment to game two. When you win, you don't make like, adjustments. You don't make adjustments. Yeah. He's like no, nah, the game plan is 
the game plan. Go out and do it again. And, and then they have the advantage because they go, okay, well, you're not doubling me here or you are doubling me here. And so we have to make an adjustment to it. Now, when we go back to Chicago, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, Milwaukee does because they have responded. I, they've been the champs. And they, last year, a couple of times, they were on the ropes and came back and, and, and really played well. So we'll see if they make them this I, year. I think Coach Bud got to be concerned with their energy level. I mean, other than the first quarter of game one, they've been kind of flat line. They're not playing with great energy and, 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 and intensity. I got a question because this is the second championship run. So, Shaq, when you were with the Lakers, was it more energy in the first, harder in the second, or the third even? Like, what was the hardest run for y'all in energy-wise? Probably, probably the second one, but Charles made a point. After you win... You have the attitude like we could turn it on. And that's how they played in the first half. And then they did turn the switch on, but they didn't have enough juice, you know, to get it done. If they come out with, with, with super intensity and put the Bulls away, it'd be a different game. But, you know, like, you know, when you're the champion, you know, teams that you're supposed to beat, we already beat them 17 out of 18 times. As soon now, as it I was get hard for us. Go, that second yeah, one yeah, was so yeah, hard for us hard. until Clyde Drexler showed up. Because we were, we were sitting there, fat catitis. You know, we, you know, rest on your laurels and you think you could turn it on when you can and you, you can't because the energy level that people are bringing in this environment, they're trying to win the championship as well. And the second run for us, if Clyde Drexler doesn't show up in town, it would have never happened. It's the only series in the East that's tied up at a game apiece through two. And... Uh, Earning <laughs> after 1 a.m. <laughs> first time I've ever men been mentioned in the same line as Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no God, doubt. Getting leaving it. That's it, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Uh.